As soon as we get the session out of the way, uh, I will announce my candidacy for governor during the week of July 4th. Okay. And why do you want to run for governor? I want to run for governor because there's uh, one major problem in the state that no one seems to be addressing. In fact, they're completely avoiding it. And it was quite evident in this legislative session as well. And that's the question of uh, illegal aliens in Texas. I'm not a one-issue person. I'm a complete package. I'm a conservative representative. I've got a solid conservative record for, uh, for 11 years right now. But uh, the issue of uh, having two million illegal aliens in Texas and people just shutting their eyes and not wishing to do anything about it, to me is obnoxious, really. I want to do something about it, and it's just a question of honoring your oath of office. If we just had to uh, enforce the laws that are on the books today, that would be absolutely uh, the answer to the question. Illegal aliens have two benefits that they're entitled to in the United States. They're really not even entitled to it, but since the federal government gave it to them, they've mandated on the states that we have to give them free health care and free education. We've got to give them free uh, hospitalization and free health care. Well, that's costing Texas over about $600 million every year. The other benefit is providing a free education, and to Texans, Illegal aliens are costing Texans almost $5 billion every year. I'm going to enforce the law in Texas as it relates to current law governing illegal aliens in the United States. Yeah. Now, one of, the, one of the big issues along that line, the CHIP program, uh, if you have uh, undocumented immigrants living in the United States and they give birth to a, a child in this country, <coughs> Uh, that child has birthright citizenship and is eligible for the CHIP program. Is that something you would change or try to change? Well, the thing I would try to change is the birthright citizenship. The uh, 14th Amendment, which is used for birthright citizenship, has nothing to do with illegal aliens. In fact, it has nothing to do with any foreigners in the United States giving birth to a child unless at least one parent is a U.S. citizen. I would love to get that into a federal court and have uh, some judge all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court if necessary rule that the 14th Amendment has no place in the scope of awarding citizenship to people who are here illegally and it has no place in awarding citizenship unless at least one parent is a U.S. citizen. I'm the fam, I'm a, a son of immigrants. My mother and father came from uh, Europe back in the early part of the 20th century. They came in through Ellis Island. They uh, adopted our culture. They learned our culture. They learned and used our language. They didn't get anything from any level of government. So he's done a lot of things on the border. But my question to Governor Perry is, what about the two million that are here in Texas now, costing us $5 billion a year? How are we going to deal with the two million here? Well, how do I uh, run in a Republican primary? It's very easy. During the last Republican primary election in March 2008, there were three initiatives on the ballot as well as candidates. The first of those three initiatives said, we want to deal with illegal aliens in Texas here and now. Of the Republican voters, 96% said they want to deal with illegal aliens here and now. You know, uh, a lot of people are telling me, Leo, you know, you're getting into this race, it's like David and Goliath all over again. But I've got a, a, something to remind them about. If you read Genesis and the story of David and Goliath, David wins. David won that fight. And I expect to win this fight as well.